welcome back to my channel. As you can see here, we have all the ingredients. We're going to make what's called uh, sausage vegetables. Okay, we're going to use the fully cooked um, turkey crumbles. We're using, you're going to need two of these and two squashes, but I wanted you to see the size so you'll know. So you're going to need two of those and you're going to slice them down the middle and you're going to chop them up. And you're going to need at least half a ba bag of your chopped green peppers. You can use the frozen kind. And a container of the grape tomatoes. Use at least about 20 of them. Uh, we're also using a half of a red onion. As you can see, I've always already chopped these up nicely. And those of you who are vegetarians, you just opt to not add the um, sausage. But this is a way to like decrease some of the meat that's in your diet and still get a good flavorful meal. Okay, over here what we've done is we've taken the turkey crumbles and we got them going with some oil in the pan. Let's turn this down. We're going to turn this down. And now that we've got those cooking, we got the little burn on them. And that's the green peppers in there. We're going to take all these nice vegetables and we're going to add this to it. See there? I'm just adding all that to it. And that was a half of a red onion chopped up, two a medium-sized zucchinis, and two squashes. And those were cut in half and sliced into fours and then chopped up. And then this was added to it. We just gonna keep on turning this over and adding this. And yeah, if you find that you've gotten a little much, you might have to change your container out because you're not having enough room in the pan to do what you really need to do. I think that's actually what I'm going to do. Let's switch out my container. I've got this in. That's exactly what I'm going to do at this point. Because this is just not really big enough or I would say deep enough for what I want to do. So, we just switch that over. And we're going to take this and we're going to just start mixing it around. And you want to get a burn on your vegetables. And see that? You've got sausage in there. You can use half a bag of the turkey sausage crumbles. And you're just going to cook this. You don't want to cook the vegetables until they're mush. You want to cook them that they still have a little crunch or a little firmness on them. Okay? So you're doing that. And you're going to let that cook for at least 15, 20 minutes. But like I said, don't cook it long enough to where the vegetables are not going to have a crunch on them. You want them to have some texture to them. You do not want them to be mush. I truly believe when you cook the vegetables too long, you cook all of the nutrients out of them. You know, what you're really doing is you're getting them hot enough for you to enjoy them as a meal. So, you know, now I chose to use the sausage crumbles because I think they offer such wonderful flavor to the vegetables and then they mix up to a point where you have um, the meat throughout the mixture but you don't have to have a lot you know you don't have to necessarily go vegetarian to cut back on some of the things that you're eating that are not as healthy as others. I mean, you don't want to eat sausage every day, no. But if you're just eating a cup of sausage crumbles to get a good flavor on your vegetables, and that's all the meat you're eating for your meal, you're not doing bad. You know, moderation is key for anything that you're doing. And in the new year, we're trying to moderate some of the bad things we're doing and modify 
so that we can switch out to become a little bit healthier and a little bit better. So thanks so much for watching. And you try this and you see what you might want to add to it. And then comment below and let me know. Thanks so much again for watching. Those of you who have subscribed, thank you again for returning. And those of you who haven't, go ahead and push that red button and join the family. Enjoy!